Hi, I'm Kathleen McDermott. I completed an MFA at the City University of Hong Kong School of Creative Media in 2014. Before I came to Hong Kong, I had had a background in sculpture. I got my BFA from Cornell University in upstate New York. And um, after that, I worked in New York City for various artists and production companies, um, mostly making sculptures, sometimes um, to go in public spaces like parks and sometimes as props for films. Um, so that was using sort of traditional production techniques, uh, mold making and making things out of clay and then casting them. Um, but what I noticed while I was working was that those, those techniques were becoming increasingly uncommon. Um, and what studios were doing more was using special effects and CGI or incorporating 3D printing and other rapid prototyping techniques. Um, so one of my motivations for wanting to go get my MFA was to try to kind of diversify my skill set. Um, and so SCM was a great place to do that. Um, there's a lot of people doing a lot of really different things. Uh, that was one of the things I found exciting about it. Some of my classmates were really into animation and um, visual special effects. Some of them were into projection mapping. Um, I was really drawn to physical computing uh, because of my background in sculpture, I think. Um, so I now work with wearable electronics. Um, I use a lot of sensors, um, I make circuits. So I, I first got into it using the Arduino, which is sort of a common microcontroller. Um, and then I've since um, started relying on the Arduino less. But um, I'm now doing a PhD at RPI, Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute in upstate New York. So I'm back in New York. Um, and I really love the work I'm doing here. It's sort of an extension of some of the research I started when I was in Hong Kong. I probably see myself staying within academia. Um, ultimately, I would, I would probably like to be a full-time researcher. Uh, but if the opportunity arises, I might enter the commercial sector. I'll see how it goes. Um, but since being back in the United States, I've found that my time in Hong Kong has really served me well. I think people are really interested to find out that I had studied in Asia um, and I had the opportunity while I was there to gain international exhibition experience so I think that um, looks pretty good. Uh, in addition to sort of you know how it looks professionally I think for me personally it was really a growing experience to live in a foreign country um, and in addition to getting to know amazing fellow students and faculty from Hong Kong and mainland China and to learn more about the culture in Hong Kong. There are also many students and faculty from uh, other places around the world, such as Europe primarily. And so it was great to have the opportunity to meet people from so many places um, and to all sort of converge in this one really interesting city. I mean, Hong Kong is really really an interesting place and it's a really cool place to be working with electronics because they're everywhere. Um, it's one of the main things I miss is Sham Shui Po, which is the uh, electronics, well it's a neighborhood close to the School of Creative Media, but there's an electronic market there, uh, Uplu Street I think it's called, and you could just buy everything. Um, now that I'm back in the United States I have to buy everything online. It's super annoying. So. <laughs> I thought I remembered how to say annoying in Cantonese, but I think I forgot. Is it ho fun? I don't remember, but <laughs> I would definitely recommend the experience. Um, I think you get what you get out of it, what you put into it. It's best to be someone who's self-directed, and you can um, you can really make the degree what you want it to be. You could try to pursue, sort of take classes and build a new skill, or you could take independent studies and be more self-directed. Um, hopefully find a faculty member you like to work with and work with them really closely. I was lucky enough to um, work as a research assistant in my third year, so I stayed one year after my MFA and I worked with a professor and I helped her make her work and I was able to travel to Taiwan with her doing that, which was really cool. Um, so yeah, it was a wonderful experience. I'm really grateful to everybody at SEM who were so kind and helpful to me and often showed me around and um, showed me delicious food to eat. I miss it there and I do hope to visit again soon. Yeah, thank you.
Tell me how you fat choy.